Hey guys, welcome to the eighth episode of the Beyond the Boards podcast. In this episode, I've had a, a bunch of requests on Instagram to talk about what we have in front of us right now. The new versions, the new iterations of the Bauer skates. We've got the Ultrasonic from the Supreme range and the Bauer 2X Pro. Uh, this is the slightly adapted one. What's different with this one is going to be the fit, which is exactly what we're going to talk about in this one, because the big announcement here isn't the new Ultrasonic skates. It's the fact that Bauer's just decided to go, we're going to completely adapt the way that you fit skates. And that's what the main, I guess, context of this podcast should be about. So we're going to answer questions that Bauer fanboy has. First of all, what's your impression of the ultrasonic skate just off of the... Off of um, that? Obviously looking at it, or you're seeing it on Instagram like I have done over the last you know, couple of months with uh, a few of the NHL guys that have got early access... You can't really see too much, but seeing it in flesh now, I like certain aspects of it. I think there's certain aspects of it that I, I think myself included, alongside most hockey players, are going to pick a little bit of fault at. Um, tendon? Which is the, yeah, the, the tendon guard. If you guys can see it on the camera, it's a little bit... Well, the, the boot in general looks a little bit more, you know, kind of like it's leaning forward. My only expectation would be once you put your foot in it, tie it up like you would a normal skate you're going to kind of feel like you're slightly more on your toes than what you would in like how I feel in the 2X, just by looking and kind of feeling at the, the shape of the boot. The tendon guards, that's clearly a, a new design feature that Bauer have put in. I don't know whether that's just on the Supreme line or whether they're going to incorporate that on the Vapor side, but very, um, yeah, very, very odd to say the least. I think it's going to cause, it caused me problems, certainly. It'd be something I, if I knew it was there and it was poking in the back of my leg like that, I, it would kind of maybe throw me off a little bit. So, I think I'm, I'm going to go into much more detail on the uh, video explaining the new differences between the Vapor and the Supreme range. But I think if you're the type of player that that skate is aimed at, the way it's been constructed makes sense. It's just, you know, you're, you're, you're used to using a Vapor skate. It's yeah. why that looks probably really unusual for yourself, but... I think it makes sense. It's very rare that I do take my hat off and give Bauer credit. And you can see me kind of like holding back, wow. having to say this, even despite the fact I've got my lovely CC right holding out for a miracle. Here but, we go. <laughs> no, but this is the thing. I, I was waiting for them to drop a skate that had something that would knock my socks off and just be like, they've done it now. Oh, look, it's a one piece skate. It's got this crazy tech in it. The, the technology in the ultrasonic, there's nothing in there that makes me sit back and go, wow, wow. Yeah. that's new. But this fit thing, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This fit thing is massive. It's one of the biggest advancements that I've seen in the world of hockey skates since the first creation of a custom skate that's been available for, you know, commercial play, like commercially. In terms of I live in England and I now want a custom skate, I can go get one. This is the biggest advancement I've seen since that. What, just because they've taken it back to basics with a fit of one, two or three, not a nine double E like I am or those aspects of things, it's a fit of one, two or three. Yeah, I, th I think from that element, it translates as it makes more sense, mm -hmm. but there's, there's a lot to it. So what, what's your understanding of the way the new fit so works? My understanding of it from what I've read and what I've had it you know, explained to by a couple of people is that it is literally as it sounds. The, the days of you requesting a skate or ordering a skate in, for instance, myself, a, a nine and a half UK double E width for you know, having a wide kind of foot to, to fit they've pretty much just gone with a case that you will be a fit one, a fit two, or a fit three. And that is as, as down to earth and as simple as it is. Do you think it makes sense? Or are you confused about how your normal E or rather D, E, double E fit translates onto the new one? Yeah, that was going to be a, a big thing. I mean, from my perspective, I've, I've always worn bower skates, like I've said before. I've always known, you know, what I am. Obviously, size-wise, I've obviously gone up as... I got a little bit older, but... Having having the double E width, I think I started with maybe a, a D or an E when I was a little bit younger. But no, the double E kind of fit me a few years back, and I haven't haven't looked back since. So yeah, trying to find out where, of course, I'm going to sit on the the fit one, the fit two, or the fit three. I think obviously that's going to you know certainly take a bit of getting used to. And I think the next pair of skates I order for next season, I'm definitely going to have to get my foot scanned just so I know uh, exactly what it is before I just go out the water and order. A fit one or a fit two or a fit three for say because yeah they're not uh they're not cheap and if you are getting them you you want to make sure that they fit properly because yeah buying a pair of skates like this and them not feeling right 
it's uh, yeah, a bit of a kick in the teeth, that's for sure. Fair. So I think the, the biggest takeaway from this is just going into a de- bit of detail about essentially from what I know, mm-hmm. but this isn't gospel because I've not got this directly from Bauer, but from what I've figured out and what I've been you know discussing with other people that are very clued up in the skate world yeah. is that essentially they've created this new fit system based off of scanning over 600,000 players' feet with their 3D scanners that you find in stores. Like, for example, I know Puckstop have got one. Yeah. I've been to a bunch in hockey, um, what are they called? Uh, Pro Hockey Life. Also loads in Hockey Monkey while I've been in the States. Yeah. These f- scanners have essentially been able to give Bauer a very clear indication of the current system of fitting skates mm-hmm. is just not accurate enough. And it doesn't cater for the different types of feet that are out there. So... I think the biggest takeaway from this is what people are looking at this new fit system as is Bauer have just changed the names of D, E, and double E. That's not what they've done. Like these, these fits are nothing the same, are nothing alike to what we're used to seeing. Okay. So it's essentially when you look at a vapor skate, they've you, simplified it, but quite clearly made it a little bit more difficult. It's, it, this is the genius or behind it. Or a little bit it. more refined, sorry. This, yeah, that's a better way of saying it. Like this is, this is the genius behind it. And, it pains me to give them so much credit, but like Why I said... Why pains you, Chris? That you started out wearing Bowers. I, I, what you do you mean? To... I st- my first pair of skates oh, are well, right there. Okay, apart from that, I've seen you in a pair of Bower, Bower skates. Yeah, because I, Bower, I, I, I was at Bower. Bower. I, was, I was at Bower, and they let me skate on their mini rink. I didn't have any skates with me. Well, guess what skates mate, they gave me? Oh, Bower. Oh, so. And I got rained on as I was on my way into the facility. So guess what t-shirt they gave me as a replacement? Okay, Bower. Exactly. Have you still got that? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, bring it. <laughs> but essentially what I'm saying is what what's happened is they've essentially looked at the way that skates fit in terms of your width, mm-hmm. um, which is D, E, double E, and then the length, which is size six, size seven, size eight, whichever one that you want to go with. So is that integrated into the fit one, fit two, or fit three? Because that's, that's going to be my next question. It, what counts as each? It is, but not as simply as you think. So, of course, the traditional way of picking a skate is your length, mm-hmm. but then um, you then have to select the width of the skate. But that all, all that's changing when you go, I'm a size eight and I'm a D, is the length, which is eight, and the D, which is the width. But now what they've added is a three-dimensional way of having your foot fitted to a pair of skates. In other words... To be able to adapt the volume of the skate, so how much space you have in terms of the height around the, say, forefoot of your feet, Mm -hmm. or if you need a skate to have more depth around the hill section of it in terms of like the volume in these different areas. The only way that you could change that was to go from a Vapor to a Supreme or a Nexus, or I like to say Nexus. I see what you mean. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the three families of skates existed. So if you found your size and your width, but then you needed more volume in the skate to accommodate for your foot shape. You yeah. then tried out the different families to see which one fit. So instead of having the three families, yeah. they've gotten, this is probably a good time to mention that Nexus or Nexus, however you want to say it, is gone. <laughs> yeah, they've, that, that, the blue skates from Bauer, those are gone. They don't exist anymore now. And the, I could have uh, seen that coming. Yeah, and, and the three different fits that you have in terms of being able to adjust the volume of the skate is what fit one, fit two, fit three are saying. So you don't have to go like for you. Yeah. You would have, I guess the Supreme might be a bit too wide for you typically. Well, this is going to lead me to my next question. Go on. If you've got, like for me, for instance, I've been wearing Vapor my whole life. Yeah. With this new technology or new kind of sizing guidance system. Yeah. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit keen to see how a Supreme would fit or whatnot. Is that going to kind of give people not so much false hope as such, but... It's not false hope. I see where you're going. No, is in like, is that is that going to put people in the same perspective as I'm in at the moment? Is, okay, yes, it's a, it's a new skate. It's, you know, the things are a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Am I going to now be told that I should be wearing a Supreme or that the Supreme is going to fit better with this new size and fit guide? So essentially what it means is that the back in the day or a week ago <laughs> back in the day you had to essentially cool. quarantine's got to you yeah right? it has been, honestly <laughs> time, time's gone but when you were picking up a pair of skates the way that you decided which skate was going to be yours is based off of the fit mm-hmm. so even if you really wanted a supreme if the volume inside the supreme family of skates was too you know the volume was too high yeah or rather the, the volume is, is mid, middle volume but you know what i mean if there was too much volume in that particular skate you had to then default to the vapor but with Fit 1, Fit 2, Fit 3, 
that doesn't matter. So like we've actually got in the studio right now, a vapor, which is the one on the table, which is yep. the top spec vapor skate in fit two. And we've also got an ultrasonic in fit two as well. And I tried both of them on the fit feels the same in terms so of, if you were to do a blind test, yes, you'd know what skate it was. If somebody put it on my foot, and then I was just like to wriggle my feet around and have You're a feel. You could tell that the, the fit was identical to it would, the it same model. It would be model. very, very difficult for me to say, I, that's the Vapor, that's the Supreme. Trying to say, oh, that one feels wider, that one feels more narrow. You, that, that doesn't exist anymore. So this essentially lets you decide on which skate you want. I know everyone's, like the way the Bauer are going to drop it when they announce it properly is the Bauer, the Bauer Supreme, in this case the Ultrasonic, is the skate that's being targeted at players that have deep, powerful, long strides. Mm -hmm. And then the Vapor, in this case, the 2X Pro, is going to be targeted at those players that have, you know, quick feet, agile, tend to take a lot more strides, very fast. That's what they're trying to essentially cater the two different skates for. But realistically, what it comes down to is, do you want red or do you want gold or yellow? Well, I mean, there's, I'd throw, there's, there's certain aspects of them I'd throw together. Yeah, the, the, the technology on the skates is, is still different. Yeah. Like how the Vapor has the injected lacing system, mm -hmm. whereas the Ultrasonic has the traditional. The Ultrasonic has the carbon fiber in the toe um, Yeah, I, th I toe, think that, that looks cap. really pretty. If you yeah. can't see that on camera, guys, it looks very good. The, there are differences in the way that the skate's been constructed. Of course, the Ultrasonic's going to have features that you know, people might like. It's new. Yeah, and then obviously the Vapor is going to have features that people might prefer as well. But yeah, it would be nice... The, the problem is if they merge the features together, then it would kind of make the other one redundant and you might as well just yeah. have one line of skates. Yeah. With, yeah, no, 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 I see where you're coming from. But do, does the does the difference in fit make sense now? Yeah, no, definitely. It, it's, yeah, I think my, my opinion from what I first thought when I looked at them and obviously now knowing that hasn't really changed, I'm still kind of very keen to see how the Supreme fits and looks compared to what I'm wearing with the 2X Pro. But if all else fails, I'll... Well, the 2X Pro and put the uh, the ultrasonic tongue on it because it looks very good. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I, I wouldn't suggest doing that because then you change the dynamic of the yeah, way the skate works. But, but if that's what you like the look of... Hey, look good, feel good, play good. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, no, no. I, I can respect that. But the, this makes for an interesting kind of side question because Bauer's doing this... Like, So the, the lifespan of the 2S Pros mm -hmm. is at the end. Everyone knows, even without all the leaked images that are floating around on Instagram. Oh, these have been on... Yeah. since probably way before Christmas. Everyone knows that this is coming. Sorry to sidetrack. When, or not sidetrack, but when does the, the sizing kind of thing for the 2X, like you said, in those situations, when does that kind of come into effect? Is there a, a specific now. date? Have they started already? Now. We missed the boat already. Then, it's already happened. Essentially, there is, there is a few um, retail stores in Europe and also in North America that already have stock of these. So I'm going to your... have to order those in a fit one, two or three, not a nine and a half double A. Most likely if you're okay. ordering, like I know the stores that are in Europe that are, you know, that are switched on that, that have been to all of the different Bauer events that have been coming. They would have been trying to get rid of as much of the vapor stock as they could mm -hmm. to avoid having this, this issue. But then the ones that aren't, or the ones that had a ton of stock that haven't been able to shift shift it or for whatever reason, they're the ones that still might have stock. But it means essentially like retailers are either going to have two choices. Get rid of this stock right now before it's announced that because everyone is ultrasonic, ultrasonic. No one knows that the vapors are going to change as well in terms of the fit. This was the mic drop moment we were talking about the other week. Told you it was coming. But we said it. I, I said that Bauer were actually sitting on something massive or they were just going to twiddle their thumbs and nothing great would come out this, of this. Has this kind of ticked that box for you? The skates. I don't care about the ultrasonic skates. I'm being honest. Like even... Dropping the video, because we today we filmed five videos. We, we never filmed five videos in one day. I have to stress we that. We haven't left. <laughs> you know, I, I, I live here now. Yeah. But um, I wasn't excited to film the 2S Pros versus the Ultrasonics. I was just like, eh, let's just get it done. But filming the video of explaining how Bauer have changed the fit, I was just like... Is that because you already knew that? No, no, no. It's just, that's the... I'm like a proper gear nerd. And when you yeah. look at a skate and it's like, there's no, there's really no new tech here. Aside from the, the toe cap, which is pretty cool, and the outsole kind of being pushed up. I was going to say, they've, they've followed suit with the 2X and they've slimmed the... The yeah, they've made, they right made it low profile and it's anatomically correct and it's, you know, they've reduced negative space in it. This is really, really cool stuff, but it's not like groundbreaking. These well, no, of course not. Yeah, it's, yeah these, it these happened nothing... in the boot, sat right behind it, just exactly. in a different model. So. And instead of going with a one piece, they've gone with this unibody where they've 
you know, kind of like had the outsole wrap around the heel and midsection of the skate a little bit, which the only real benefit I can see because I've not had any like authorized information that tells me what that does, which is effectively maybe increase the stability of the boot a little bit, but mainly beef up the durability of the outsole itself and the, the base of the skate. But that's really all I'm seeing. So if you've had experiences where your outsole is getting chipped away and cracked and I don't think that's going to happen as it wraps up high around the skate. But aside from that... Like, so you think that the durability on the new the new models or the new kind of skate as such is going to be a little bit... In theory, yeah, it should be better. In theory, it should be better. Oh, um, I'll put that to the test. Yeah, and, but this is... <laughs> I bet. But yeah, this is this is the thing. It's like there's, there's no new tech, but what is new is the fit. And it, it doesn't seem like it's a big deal because from the surface, again, it looks like they've just changed the name of... D, E, and double E, but that's yeah. that's not what they've done. It's it's a major, major advancement. And it's the thing that I've been most excited about when I've been kind of like learning about the skates mm -hmm. to be able to create the different videos. Like I did a blind test where I, I uh, tried on, we have the 2S and the 2S. We have the ultrasonic skates in a size eight, three yep. different pairs in fit one, fit two, and fit three. Yeah, I lined them up, put a, like a, a blindfold on, yeah. which is like a hockey sock over my head um, and tried them on. Like Ricky scrambled them up, so I didn't know which order which one was in. And I tried them on. And Fit 1 and Fit 2 for me personally yep. were the most difficult to tell the difference between. But Fit 3 was like putting your foot in a completely different skate. Like completely different skate. So that's, yeah, it's still exactly the same. That's now even, once again, more. Yeah. Pushed me to to see kind of what I would, what I'd like to wear. Not, not have to wear, but if I could go down a route of, of wearing a Supreme. Yeah, definitely. And this is the other argument because fit one on paper, like how you were told on paper, you'd be a fit one or fit two, whatever yeah. was suggested on paper, I should be a fit one. But when I tried them both on like fit one and fit two, fit two, in terms of the shape of my foot, all of the areas that I'd like a skate to feel secure and snug. Comfortable around, yeah. Fit two was the one that did that. Fit one felt a little bit too loose in certain areas, even though technically fit one is meant to have less volume. Could you imagine if you didn't like any of them? Yeah. Then what would you do? Custom. I what? feel like I'm a Bauer salesman right now. Jeez. But that's what they've done. Essentially, on on paper, Bauer are claiming that this new fit system will tailor for 90% of the player mm -hmm. population. And then the other 10% are the ones that either have very, you know, uniquely shaped feet or you might have bone spurs or whatever. Yep. And that's when you need to go down the line of considering getting a custom pair. But it's, it, it's big. And it makes sense now because when I saw those massive scanners going into stores and all they were doing was suggesting which family of skate you should get, I was like, they've either ripped off people by selling them these massive machines that really aren't doing anything yeah. different or there's something else that these machines are going to be used for. And then obviously the custom thing came in, which is what they're used for. And then now, this whole fit further thing. Further down the line, here we're at. Exactly. So it's, I, I am surprised. And I'm interested to see what else they do. Can you uh, see another company following suit as well with this? Or Honestly, I think everyone needs to adapt because Bauer has gone. We've scanned, you know, over half a million players yeah. and have identified that the old way of fitting skates with, you know, the, the letters exactly. is redundant, yeah. is done. I mean, to a point that they've axed a range, a family range of their skates. I, like I said, I could have seen that coming. I think if you... I see it coming with CCM Ripcore. Just saying. I, well, I see pro probably for the same reasons that I was going to explain now. I mean, besides, I mean, I use the the, the Nexus 2N gloves just because I think well, they're comfortable. I've had them for a while. And the sticks as well. But if you were to say, if, sorry, if you were to have said, I don't know, maybe six months, a year ago, 12 months time, Bauer are going to get rid of, you know, one family of skates or one family of their, their model, which would it be? Probably 90% of... Well-educated hockey players would have gone, you know, Nexus. Yeah. You don't see many people wearing them anymore. They're always for sale if they are online and anything like that. Certainly. It's the, the dinosaur. Skate. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, it, and even looking back to, cool, probably, I don't, well, I'm not going to say the date when I would like to think the first Nexus skates come out. But even then, they, the first skates that I remember seeing in the Nexus model were very similar to the old school Bauer kind of 8000s, the old, the old school. Yes. Bauer. But that's, I think that's and, where and the that iteration probably, went. Yeah. That was probably quite a good selling point because obviously, you know, you've discontinued a model from late nineties and whatnot. And then you've, you've kind of brought something back for people that were in that generation. That, oh, oh, I had the Bauer Turbo 4000 or I had the Bauer 8090s. I can, you know, I, I can buy a pair again. They're going to be modern, 
but they're going to look and feel, hopefully, as to what I'm, you know, wore 10, 15 years ago. It's kind of like the tax, isn't it? They yeah. put that back and everyone's like, oh man, I had those. E- exactly. Yeah. Um, so from a selling perspective, yeah, I can imagine it worked for a year or two. But then, like you said, when you when you put them up against the models that we're at now with the Vapor and the Supreme, mm. they're, they're completely different worlds apart. You could put three skates on a table and... Yeah, probably 99.9% of hockey players are always going to pick the the new ones and the ones that they know every NHL player wears. Yeah. There's not many guys in the NHL or in, in pro leagues anywhere that are, are wearing the Nexus skates or, or, or using using them anymore. So sticks and gloves is a little bit different because it's, like we've said before, it's kind of personal preference, feel and, and what you're used to. So. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I definitely agree with that. And it does make sense. It's why I think it's going to happen with um, other manufacturers as well. Sense for, yeah, it makes sense of- why they got rid of Nexus. They're clearly not selling as much as what they had done. Yeah, like I can't you said, imagine you, little 12-year-old Timmy looks well, at no, Nexus. Well, exactly. Of course, oh, there's that. not... I literally off the top of my head now, and I'm I'm quite educated on hockey players and whatnot, I couldn't... I literally, I can't even think of a player that I would know, even in the last two or three years, that wears the Nexus case. I can't think of a player, period, that I know that wears I know them. one guy who plays on my team, that's it. Yeah. So. But yeah, it, it definitely makes sense. It's, But it's it's interesting to see how other companies are have reacted to the tech that's been getting released from other people. But I'm going to be interested to see how other companies respond to what's happened with this. And aside from that, I'm going to be interested especially in what True do to to respond What's their kind of fit catalog? I say they haven't got one of that you can't custom. order from a catalog. It's it's custom. It's scan and build. So not, not for next season. Oh well, okay. Yeah, but... so I know I know that they have uh, two other skates that are coming out that are just going to be things that you yeah, can get I off have, the shelf. I have seen some bits and bobs. Yeah, yeah. So there but is. Then is that not so much going to undermine their their ethos of we're true? We've always made custom skates, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you not feel like that from a kind of standpoint of going up like you know some companies are do you not think that that's kind of taking a little bit of a step back to a more retail i think that's what the point is i think realistically from my perspective it does two things two main things the first one is when you sell one custom skate how much floor space can you have on a display unit one skate you have one skate and a sign that's it now if you have Three skates in total, you have more space, you have more visibility, there's more interest. It's more appealing if you yeah. were. And you I mean, know not that. for UK because we don't then, have a lot of hockey shops like that. Yeah. But in the States, when you walk in and you've got two walls of a an acre an acre size store that are you know dedicated to skates, all models, all makes, yeah, I can it's imagine cool. it. And then aside from that, it's also the fact that it's important to kind of match cosmetically what everyone else is doing and i mean that when you're in a retail store Mm -hmm. you walk into a a big retail store and you have one section that's ccm three lines of skates one section that's bauer three lines of skates true one skate now all of a sudden three lines of skates you're going to have the you know intermediate or low end or whatever they're targeting it at then Mm -hmm. the ones just below the the pro custom ones and then the retail skates see i'm like i know stuff i don't know that much stuff okay Okay. i know that there's going to be essentially the custom one below the custom and then one below that one that we're going to be seeing i don't i can't you know say that that's gospel no that's what i've heard through the grapevine i believe you've seen a couple of well a couple of uh images floating around on certain pages on the web which point to the same thing i think everyone's pointing to, to to the new true skate that's coming yeah, and people don't really realize there's going to be like two others that are going to be dropping as well. That, from what I can tell, are just going to be like I can literally walk into a store, order a size eight, and bounce. And then what you would, what you would kind of take in the route is if you what you do with barrel CCM, you bake them yourself, you heat them, and whatnot. Yeah, or... it's going to be interesting, like to see are they going to use the DEWE or is it going to be something different? Like I, I, I don't know. I just know that from what I could see, it looked like it was a skate that you could just pick up, or perhaps it's going to be a custom skate. Mm-hmm. at a lower price point, you know, like an intermediate custom skate or like a slightly not as pro as the high end skate. But realistically, I think it's going to be a skate that you can just go into a store and buy and stores will have physical stock of it. Cause that's been the main thing with true. Like it's, Oh, this is cool, but I can't physically see one. And it's so you, you get, get a sample it. skate yeah. and then you get it and then it's there. No, but if you don't want to enough. spend the full whack for the custom, it's quite skate, a lengthy process as well, isn't it? Like even if you get a custom pair of hours, it's like six, eight weeks. Yeah. 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 Whereas you could order, like you said, a retail off the shelf pair from, you know, and get it there. skate station or even Bow Direct or Bow UK and yeah. have them 
at your doorstep within a day or two. Or if so. you can go to the store, you can just grab them yeah, exactly. and leave so. with them. And I think that's a, a big thing. There's a lot of people out there that don't really need to go custom. And if you don't need to go custom, but you still want a pair of trues. It's an impulse buy for most people. Yeah. That's fair. I'm like that with MacBooks. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I've done that once. <laughs> I've done that once. This is my old faithful. And now this is probably the last time we'll ever use it, but... She's been good to me. When did this What's information gonna... drop? Sorry. What? When did I get it, or when did this? What, no. This... When does it officially drop? Or I drop. I don't know. I think maybe. I think there's going to be a lot of questions. Yeah, I think people are going to have June. a lot of questions. I think I think end of June, maybe early July. I really don't know. But obviously, with with the whole situation in the world right now, it's it's difficult to. No, know. no, no. Of course, it's probably well, it's at the it's at the back of most people's minds. So yeah. But I know people are going to come out with a lot of questions, and the problem is when I drop the ultrasonic versus the previous generation the 2s Switch, pro yeah. and i'm like oh it's a completely different fit i can't go into the specifics no, 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 of that of in that not, video no. otherwise that video would be like 25 minutes long no. it's a lot easier to to go through it in a podcast where i can explain the differences properly and then people can kind of go away and find out more information and this is the perfect time to mention that we also have uh, a video like that is dedicated to explaining the differences between this new fit so fit one fit two fit three if you want a video that goes into the details of how it works, what this means for you as a player, I will link that video down below. And aside from that, there's also going to be a separate video explaining the new differences between the Vapor and the Supreme line of skates. So all of that will be linked in the description. If you're watching this from like Apple uh, podcast or Spotify, um, the podcasting special site or, or any other podcasting special site, just search on our channel, Hockey Tutorial, and you'll be able to find these videos on the fit. And hopefully at the time that this podcast is being recorded and shared, It'll be the only videos on the internet explaining the fit. Number Don't one, baby. Just pat Number myself one. on the back right there. But yeah, so that, that, that'll that be uh, all out there for you. But uh, does that make sense? Like you as a player? Oh, yeah, big time. I think from, uh, obviously, you know, certain companies and brands, they, not so much attack, that's a terrible word to use, but it, it, it's the way you would explain it. They would attack kind of different markets. You know, the, the lower end of people that, you know, maybe play juniors or are new to the game and obviously the, the pro kind of higher end things. I think from from a an all-round position, I think this is this is going to benefit everyone. It's going to make, like you said, you not walking into a shop or ordering skates going, oh, you know, I've worn Vapor before, I've worn Supreme before, I have to have those. It's also going to take the, like you said, the the use of those scanning machines, hopefully through the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, not saying that's the only way, because I know for a fact it's not, you know, you can buy skates and mold them yourself and whatnot, but it's going to kind of push people to go... Into the stores. Yeah, into the stores a bit more, and it's, it's certainly going to kind of make them a little bit more cautious with, with what they do spend their, their money on and, and what skates they are buying. Yeah, I think the biggest takeaway from the introduction of this new system is, number one ballsy move from Bauer to do this because we're halfway through the lifespan of the vapor skate so for them to literally say midway are, through the we're, lifespan yeah, we're, season through it. yeah really, we're, we're so. going to switch out the way the skate fits and essentially retailers are going to need to get new stock players are going to be need to be re-educated on a skate they already knew about you're going to get a lot of guys like myself that go no don't like it give me the old D double e's back exactly so this is the thing so for them to do that kind of shows you how significant this move is it's it's an aggressive move from them and it makes sense but aside from that now more than ever, you need to go to a store and get fitted. Stop trying to buy things online. Because on paper, I would have bought the, the Fit 1. But then after trying it out, yeah. it's like, no, the Fit 2 would be the one I needed. Well, better get myself up to Sheffield, eh? Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna spend, you know, 600, 700 pounds on a pair of hockey skates, go to, like, even if it costs you a day's work or whatever, go to a hockey store, a good one that knows what the hell they're talking about and get fitted. Because at the end of the day, you only have to do it once. Mm -hmm. And once you've done it and you know what fit you are, you're done. You don't have to go back and do it again. And if you're an adult, you don't have to worry about growing and, and needing another pair of skates. And side note, they've also introduced new intermediate skates, which is something we've never seen from Bauer. It's always been junior, senior. They've got now... Uh, Please elaborate. Intermediate. So essentially, with intermediate skates, a good example is if you're an adult and you're a size five, but you weigh 15 stone, you've got small feet. So but you, you can save money on trainers, not skates. <laughs> but you're built like an adult. Essentially, what that meant is that the if you went for a pair of 2S Pros in a, a junior set, yeah. it's a 2S Pro skate, but it's not built and it's not as stiff and supportive and rigid as the senior 2S Pro, or in okay. this case, the ultrasonics. Yeah. So what they've done is 
introduce a new intermediate line that the top spec skates or all of the skates in this new intermediate range are stiffer than the junior, yep. but not as stiff as the senior. So this is really going to support players that are adults, mm -hmm. but have small feet and also players that are younger, but need more support. So if you're, you know, a kid that is skating five, six times a week, you're a high level player, but you have junior size feet and you need Makes to go sense, for, yeah. you know, like you're not quite in the senior range, but you need to have a skate that supports you better. You could step into a pair of intermediates and still have, you know, a more stiff skate that offers you better support. That's more rigid. That's more tailored to your level of play because skill build and um, time on the ice dictates obviously fit aside those 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 elements dictate how stiff a skate and, that you need yeah. so if you're a very skilled player you're quite built but you're young that doesn't mean you need to be in a junior pro skate you might need an intermediate or you might even need a senior and it's about being able to tailor the skate to be able to help the player perform because if you're young and you're good but your skates are too stiff that messes your feet up and that hinders your performance yeah and likewise if you're really you're an adult player you're built but you're not that good and you have feet that don't need to be in such a stiff skate, then you've got the option. If your feet fit in the intermediate range of skates, you can hop into a pair of those. So it's kind of like a, a melting pot between junior and senior to offer players that have special requirements, skates that are going to support them better. So that's, it's not like as big uh, an initiative as the way that they've changed the sizing, but it's still worth mentioning because there are a lot of junior players there that are going to benefit. And there's a lot of senior players that will also benefit as well. But yeah, aside from that, anything else that you uh, no, I think you want to add? Well, you answered all my questions that I've got immediately anyway from looking and feeling, touching and whatnot. So no. Boom. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's, that's uh, I guess, brings us to the end of this podcast. This was just a very kind of like quick, unexpected episode that needed to drop because after kind of like learning more about what's going on with these skates, I just felt like more information was required because I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that have questions about them. And hopefully this podcast episode has helped to answer them. My mind probably works the same as most people that are, you know, brand new and interested in the game as much as I am now. I think, no, from that point, it's, it's all about looks for some people and other people, it's all about fit. So it boils down to everyone's going to be different, but quite clearly that's that's going to change and it's going to become more of a, a personal fit with the the sizing and the yeah the selection of it all so yeah i no, think no more questions i think yeah. it's good awesome i think it's, it's going to be an interesting one i'm curious to see how players are going to respond to this of course we know what hockey players are like if it's new yeah, no no <laughs> don't yeah. want it but Drama we'll see queen sometimes yeah you don't have a choice now if you're you know if you're a bow guy or girl and you want to continue using the new skates especially if you're going to pick up a pair of ultrasonics, you need to figure out this new fit system. So in terms of them skates, can they still be baked then with that fit? Yeah, it, you, you can still bake a skate. They're still thermoreactive, so you can you know chuck them in a skate oven or a traditional oven following the rules. Like there's loads of guides out there. You can put them into, into a traditional oven at no, home. Don't put you them can, I've done it no, hundreds no, no, no. of times. It's fine. I filmed a video on it. This video was filmed when I was about 17. And I'll probably repeat myself about 67 times. Ovens in your home should be used for home baking and cooking. It's it's not as complicated as Use a hairdryer. No, that doesn't do anything. Yes, it does. It does Every do. pair of skates I've ever had, I've used a hairdryer. You, you're really going to... That's one spot. And what you're doing is heating it up inconsistently. You can use it to punch out a particular Work area, but you don't want to do that for skate baking. Don't put them in the oven, guys. I'm not this saying... This coming from a guy who <laughs> eats... He's probably melted skates in the oven because you didn't follow yeah, exactly. the rules. I've, no, I've never melted a pair of skates. Right, but it's there is ways, and I've made a guide that shows you how to do it from home. But of course, if you're going to spend six, seven hundred pounds on a pair of skates, Just get them the baked shop. in the store for yeah. sure. But hopefully, guys, we've answered all of your questions. Um, excuse the absence of Tommy for this one. This uh, episode was kind of like directed at Mr. Bauer Boy over here, who's yes. been in Bauer his whole life. Uh, Tommy will be back in the next episode. Don't you worry for all the Tommy fans out there. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We've been able to educate you on uh, what's dropping from Bauer, um, some of the questions that you might have had about the new upcoming skates. I guess we'll catch you on the, the next one. You want to sign up? Catch out? you on the flip side. <laughs> sorry, I had to say that. Sorry. <laughs> been so serious, then he has to break it there. Yeah, but yeah sorry, sorry. As always, guys, big thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate the podcast, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends if anyone's wondering about the new Bauer fit, and we'll catch you in the next video. Throw your questions in Chris's DMs. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. Do, do not DM me. You said Chris's DMs as well. <laughs> Hockey tutorials DMs. Definitely not me. Chris is going to be getting... Um, Chris, 
Um, what laces should I use? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Like it's I, the one thing I would say is if I don't know you, please don't add me on my personal account. It's it's not gonna happen. I like you, Follow it, me all you do. You want. really want to see? I love it. I love the DMs from some people. Do you really want to see pictures of me and my kids and stuff? No, you don't. Like stick to the hockey tutorial side of things, guys. But yeah, ask him five questions in his DM. I've had a few lately. Here not bad, but just like general, you know, general questions. Whether that bit, I think a couple of them out. Kind of hockey, and then yeah, there was a few about equipment, which is a bit bit weird. Yeah, enjoy, oh, enjoy. There we go. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm pointing. If you have a question about equipment, JJ's yeah, DMs. Just, I'll yeah. I'll I'll have it pop up on the screen oh, yeah, so you thanks. can see it. It'll yeah. be down below. Thanks. Ask him all the questions. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.